We're back, dude. We're here. We're live. We're on right now. You're on, bro. Oh, man. We're fucking on. Damn, I was just reading that MSG article CNN put out. Did you see the things people shared of, like, they had Eddie Huang, I believe, do it, and uh, yeah. somebody else were like, change the dictionary, Merriam's Webster. Yeah. I think, yeah. I I don't I don't mind that. I, do, I think it's funny to, like, to make it a cause, but, like, Chinese restaurant syndrome does sound a little... A little aggressive. It is aggressive, but at the same time, it's not. People didn't like look at Chinese people and form this opinion. They ate Chinese food. Should we be talking about this? Should we even be on the air right now? It doesn't matter. I mean, it is. It is a funny thing to be like Chinese food. It's not really Chinese. It'd be like if uh, people just ate Burger King and were like, "Dude, American food's fucked up." Because pretty much most people eat Chinese food and eat like, yeah, you know, place of like, uh, like all like the shit on the way. You can get actual Chinese. But again, where are, <laughs> get, let me know where those spots oh, are because every time I eat Chinese food, I feel fucking starving two hours tip-toeing. later. Tiptoeing, I'm a tiptoeing, tiptoeing on the boundary. You can't. <laughs> Listen, I'm here to push them. They're like, this is racist, and it's like, well, okay. It is funny they give it all to the Chinese though. What, but then MSG? again, like when you eat sushi, you don't feel fucking hungry two minutes later. They were like, it's in American foods too. It's in Doritos and ranch. It's like, yeah, dude. Shitty food. Anybody that eats Doritos <laughs> isn't like, this is a good cuisine. It's like, no, dude, I'm embarrassed I'm eating this. True. You're not eating shit. That's like a criticism. It's like, why don't you go eat some fucking Doritos, dude? You yeah. fat idiot. <laughs> or especially like, yeah, if you were to eat like flaming Hots and be like, uh, excuse me? Flaming Hots didn't cause hot How diarrhea. How dare you, dude? How dare you accuse it? You know the Cheetos an endangered species? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I don't know. I'll, I'll be curious where that one spills out because it's like... The cheetah is an endangered species. The Cheeto? The, the Cheeto. Cheeto. The Cheeto is. Chester Cheeto. <laughs> yeah, dude. The Chinese are grinding up Cheeto bones <laughs> to get erections. That's really? Not, yeah. Cheetos give you hard erect. Cheetos give you hard erections? No, I think they're doing that with rhino. Rhino horns. Right. It's like a big... It's like a... Yeah, they're like grinding up rhino horns. Obviously, that gives you hard as fuck. Definitely worth it. We got it, dude. Honestly, I what I the we- sworn it was like the same exact uh, thing as like your fingernails. That's what rhino horns collagen? are like made out of. Yeah, oh, if they're made out of collagen, that's big business, dude. That's that's why I bite my nails so much. So I get rock hard. <laughs> well, that's what BB ladies do are leading the cause in that. They they love collagen. Really, it's like the fountain of youth. If you're a BB lady and you eat enough collagen, you're like... You'll be young again. You'll feel, yeah. Your like, hair grows better and your nails mm-hmm. get stronger. So they're the ones taking out the rhinos. The Chinese are just serving the market. <laughs> True. <laughs> they're just like, yo, True. That's what, are these, capitalism, what are these things like dinosaur armadillos, dude? Fuck, yep. cut these things' heads off. Kill them. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, if you... Yeah, there's no... Uh, you know, there's no love. There's <laughs> no love there for rhinos. Honestly, too, if rhinos were to go extinct, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, that's kind of how... When everybody's complaining about like the polar bears... Yeah. With the ice. I'll tell you. All right. They can go. Just keep the bees. I like the bees. The bees are good. We need the bees. We do not need polar bears. We, they're they're not part of the plan. They're not going to help us. Yeah. They're not going to help us get to Mars. Yeah. What do they? What do polar bears do for the environment, dude? I mean, I guess they keep certain like stuff in check, but it's like, what? Seals? Penguins? Yeah. No, they're not even... They're on different side of the earth as, as penguins. True. They're not even chilling with the penguins. That's just a lie. Big Coca-Cola... I don't know. If you. I hear anyone talk about their bellyache after the Chinese food, I'm coming for them, dude. I'm like, excuse me. Pardon me? Excuse me. How dare you? Excuse, excuse me. Please yeah. stop. It's like, oh, you're thirsty after you had Chinese food? That's, That's on racist. You. That's on you, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's racist. That, yeah, dude, I, my digestive system might oh, be racist. Oh, it has nothing to do with it that you just ate a bowl of sodium? <laughs> nope. That's racist. <laughs> Uh, we're fired up dude. Yeah dude Take that dude Take Merriam-Webster If you're listening to Merriam this Merriam-Webster please It's dude. time Look This was a comedy podcast We're just joking around about it mm-hmm. You don't fuck with Chinese food For real Seriously And in the dictionary Calling it Chinese restaurant syndrome Yeah they should Fucked up dude What should they call it What would be the thing to call that <laughs> Don't give me that Don't give me that <laughs> softball <laughs> You just lob that up And see what I say on that Nope Because how could they uh, I'm just trying to think Like will they have to spec- They have to be more specific I think it'd be shitty Chinese food. No, no, <laughs> no. It has to be bad Chinese food syndrome, or just bad food syndrome. Yeah. Don't don't you know? When's ramen gonna change? Oriental. It's almost time. What do you mean? That flavor. They got a fucking flavor called Oriental. Isn't well, aren't they allowed to? Isn't Ramen Corp allowed to? Oh yeah, true. Yeah, I think they're I think they're cool on that. True. Oriental. They have Oriental like spice. Popeye's having a chicken sandwich just called the N word. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I think they're allowed to say it. Is Popeye's? I think Popeye's is black owned. 
No way. I'm telling you. They have a black spokeswoman, but I bet Popeyes is honkies. Evil honky. up. I don't know, but typically I would guess evil honkies. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I oh, think... I had a fucking I had a Popeyes chicken sandwich this weekend. How was it? It was Chick Fil A. I was like excited about it. It's nothing. <laughs> I'm just digesting your Popeyes sandwich idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have I'll have that. No, I'll have, no, that one. Which, no. Number six. <laughs> you want the sandwich or the full meal? <laughs> oh, I, oh my god! Can you imagine? I couldn't imagine. I'd go to Merriam Webster immediately, dude. Like, uh, guys, we just got rid of CFS, and now I'm seeing this. <laughs> and now Popeyes is <laughs> Yeah, man. The uh, it's funny Merriam Webster put out like an apology. Well, it's funny if you remember. You have to, dude. If you get tweeted at, you better have an apology on deck. What do they say, by the way? Merriam Webster. It's got to be some old English dude who knows all the words. It's like, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, yeah, it's like, we are going to move expeditiously. They're moving expeditiously? Yeah, they're TI in it. So they're going to take it out of all the ones? Uh, I'm sure they'll take it out. For sure. That's crazy. You get a couple bad tweets, it's time to move. Well, the funny thing is, is I've been to a graduation party. It was a Chinese family, and I had like homemade Chinese food. I remember being like, "Why don't you guys just sell this? This shit's delicious." So, yeah, I mean, there's obviously there's great Chinese food. Obviously, I crush Chinese food. Even Jane G's, place that gets shut down constantly. Why? That's where I came up with my. I ate there the one day. It was sixty dollars. The food is so good. It's fucking. It was like rice paper. The noodles are so good. The noodles. The noodles. Yeah, the we don't fuck around, dude. The no nude, more fucking around. The dude. noodles, the noodles are delicious. Are delicious. Yeah, but delicious. No, not dude. Dirt. Sixty <laughs> bucks. I I, pay, I I took my bay there. Sixty bucks. That's good. And I, I I finished my meal and I'm like, what did I just eat? And I was like, like an eighth of a pound of fucking salty right, meat. So the price was high. Yeah, but That's, it was like, don't you don't have to be racist because the price. I'm not being racist. I was just kind of like, yeah, that, I can mark this off. Thai food. Let's go. I love Thai food. Thai food is good. With some fucking herbs and vegetables and shit. <laughs> Not just like fucking <laughs> sauce meat and fucking rice paste. Yes, dude. that's my shit. True, it is delicious. It's so good. So either way. We, right, there we go. We, we squash the beef, dude. The beef's yeah, over. Take it out. Merriam, come on. Come on, Merriam. And if you dare to feel <laughs> indigestion or thirsty after you eat Chinese food, check yourself, dude. Check yourself. Please check your privilege. Exactly. Privilege. Your privileged fucking palate, dude. Yes. You got to... You know, if your heart skips a beat or you get high blood pressure, that's your fucking problem, that's dude. You. It has nothing to do with the incredibly high amounts of sodium. That is funny though. To still like just still go back every single time. What? And people being like that being like, say that's like a popular conception, like, oh yeah, every time you eat Chinese food you feel hungry afterwards, blah blah blah. And then be like, Let's get some Chinese food, bro. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, anything with yeah, like a ton of sodium or salt, I'm I'm all in. True. I, I cannot stop eating it. General Sal's. General Sal's is Scotty approved, dude. Sweet and salty. Bro. When I was a kid, I hated Chinese food. I Excuse just didn't, me? I just didn't Excuse like it. Excuse me? I didn't like it. First off, Excuse Matthew, me? I hear what you're doing. <laughs> I know what you're doing. When I was a kid, I hated it. And then I had Scotty approved General Sal's. <laughs> and I was like all in, dude. I'm a young Scotty. I got the Scotty in me, dude. Scotty Pippin, dude. I had General Sal's and it was over, dude. Someone tossed you the Sal's. Scotty Pimpin, dude. I wonder about that because there are those like entry for like. Um, General Sal's is entry level for Scotty's. Yeah, let's say international cuisine. I was, I was on a pure chicken finger tip. I was on Tendy's tip okay. forever. And then I. Had some general sales and expanded. Good. Well, there's uh yeah. So there's pad thai. That's like the the thing that bridges people to Thai food. I general sales. I'm still I'm still stuck at the entry level. Yeah. And then there's thai. what do you eat for Indian food? Uh, tikka, tikka masala. Yes. So you're you're all that's all and they're the gateways. I'm on the gateways of they're all. They're the of portals them. from Tendies to any international cuisine. There's like four different things. And you can all eat. of those I only still eat, <laughs> and I eat I eat Indian constantly. Teak and I still good. get the same thing. Teak is fucking good. With a big fucking nan. Woo. That's what it's called, yeah, right? Nana bread? Yeah. Nan bread, dude. Dip that in. Uh, excuse me, it's non bread. Non? Excuse me. Pardon me. Nan. I'm going to issue an apology. <laughs> Let me get some of that nan bread. Dude, you ain't no nan. I, I was think getting it's yeah, technically nan. Nan. Double A, I would say nan. Nan? Nan bread. I think it's non. Non bread. I don't know. But that's tight, dude. That's tight. You're still at the portal. Of all I'm a, of these, a pure Scotty on just about everything I eat. 
That's awesome. Salads, dude. I'm still Scotty. No, you're an adventurous Scotty. No, it's, it, salads, I'm still Scotty. It's what do you just, get? C's? Chicken C's. Little C's? That's yeah, you salt, can't, I can't. It, dude, don't you dare put fruit in my salad, dude. Or we're, it's on site. <laughs> you better drench my fucking vegetables and cheese. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what Caesar dressing is just like cheese. That's that's racist against Italians. If, they can get it all day, dude. What? Italians can get That's what it we all thought day. about Asians, dude. <laughs> 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 no, we're gonna get in trouble in twenty twenty four for making fun of Indi- er, Italians. Ooh, you just called Indians Italians. <laughs> you're getting on Columbus, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're whatever we say they are. <laughs> dude. So what are you doing? What's going on? What's going what's on? on? Dude, I showed you what's going on. I got a big game going on right now. Oh yeah. You're taking, you're solidifying the supremacy. Uh, 1914. That's the name of the game. It's German created, so that name's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> it's called supremacy. It's called supremacy. When supremacy was it? 1914 is the name. So it's like a World War One. It's sick, dude. It's risk. It's basically risk. So it's a big map online on your phone. I'm surprised Ger- Germany didn't issue like a supremacy World War Two game. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, they definitely had to include 1914 in the title. Oh yeah. To be like, did. we mean World War One for sure. That's fucking ballsy, dude. How'd mm-hmm. you find out it was a German game? Because uh, the tutorial was all in German. Oh. Like, the whole thing's in German. Jesus. Yeah. But got through it. Got through the tutorial. Yeah. Broke out. Now, so now you're just, playing international. Now I'm just in a in a game right now. Me and this guy, uh, Yeet Meat, he controls the South. Yeet Meat controls the South. Does he really? I control the North of America. How small did you? How small of an area did you start with? I started with, like, Pennsylvania and New England. Damn, so like you, that, ex- you the, expand it nicely. Yeah, then I took the south immediately. Who's west? No one. It stops at like the Mississippi. Okay. You you all the way to the Mississippi? Yeah. I control from Maine down to Tennessee. We're doing well. There's one guy, he still holds North Carolina. He was the first guy I betrayed immediately. Yeah. He was at war with the south. So this one guy controlled like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, the deep south. Mm-hmm. This guy controlled like Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Middle, yeah, the middle South. Right, and, he was basically fireworks, right where you could yeah. sell fireworks. He, yeah, he was in the fireworks territory, and he was going to battle with the actual racists. And then <laughs> me being the coastal elites. Abolitionists, obviously. Yeah, I was the abolitionist. As soon as I saw the opening while the fireworks were fighting the racists, I just destroyed the fireworks. Oh, so you turned, so you turned on. I turned on right away. <laughs> That's the funniest part of so this So he game. left his troops. He mm-hmm. took his troops down south. All his troops were down south fighting. It was just women and children. I just came in with the women and children. I said, ladies. Surrender. Kids, you are now part of the coastal elites. Welcome. <sighs> Welcome to the fucking fold. But he, did he Was he pissed? It's funny because, yeah, you can DM each other. <laughs> he DM He was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he was like, we didn't even start the game. You're already ending it. Because it is the very beginning of the game. So like, you're supposed to like build up and shit. I just oh. killed him right away. Now I'm trying to. Now, but see, now I'm a little depleted. From mm-hmm. going to war, so the guy at the south is like, he's looking good. He could fuck me up, and I'm like DMing him to be like, let's become allies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? He's going to do the same thing I did. What do you say? Said, he said yes, but he already he's marching troops north. Well, tip, as we speak, technically though, you saved. He was being attacked. He so. was being attacked, and I saved him. But when I saved him, that guy that I started attacking sent all his troops back up north to fight me. So we had that. That was that was a war of attrition. So True. I'm low right now. True. I got rid of that guy, but now the South is He's strong. He's gonna get me. If he was yeah, if he was a thinking man, he'd be like, Well, if this was his he knew you two were allies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knows. He dude. knows I'm not to be trusted. So he right now he's like DJT, you're Kim Jong. I'm Kim Jong. I'm not very trustworthy. So he's DJT being he's, like, I gotta He's like, We'll do whatever it takes to just, you know, we need to keep things peaceful, but he sees me expanding. He sees me. Really? There's nothing he can do to stop me. Anyway, so I got that going on. That's so funny. Supremacy 1914 on. Get it. Download it on the app store. Such a funny. Oh, shit. This morning, uh, I was like worried that that guy was going to attack me. So I spent 20 bucks. What'd you say? I put 20 bucks. (laughs) I put 20 bucks into the game. What'd you buy? I've never bought a cell phone game in my life. Welcome to the fucking phone. I remember mocking you for this. I do it out of impatience. I would play Clash yeah. of Clans. And, and you got to like, update the fucking, yeah, it's like three hours yeah. to update this like, fort. I'm like, nah. seven town center? It's like, I can have a wizard? I need that now. I'm like, let me get that. Yeah. And then you get all this stuff, and then you got to fight people who have all that. Like, you get a yeah. nice little golden period where you get to fuck everybody up, and then they level you up, and now you have people who have better shit, and you're like, 
oh, I need the better shit. And then I was like, you know what? I'm getting I'm tricked. I'm just going to put 30 bucks into this. Yeah, dude. I was thinking, I was like, it'd be sick if these weren't even real people. Oh, God. That'd be the ultimate app. To I, just yeah. make whoever's playing panic into buying, like, I need to upgrade this. I need to get the armored car. Jesus Christ. Put 20 dude. bucks in, oh. in a hotel room, just laying there. <laughs> just, yeah. It works. It's fun. Yeah, I'm having fun, dude. I do this. Uh, I'll, I'll throw more money at this app if I have to. Real Whatever time. it takes to win. What do you think empires are built with, bro? True. Twenty bucks at a time. Literal dude. money. Just fucking someone's their <laughs> chin scrunched in in a hotel room, like. Ugh. <laughs> I can't lose Tennessee to to eat me. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was that's my weekend. That's what's up. That's man. a big weekend, dude. That's what's up. I uh, dude, did you uh, you know what today is, right? Come on, please. MLK Day, bro. It's MSG Day. It's MSG Day. MLK Day. Excuse me, dude. Did you read the, uh, there was an article on Business Insider. I don't know, dude, I don't know who the fuck told them to put this up there. Where the, oh, I don't have it. But they, um, they went through and they, I get, there's somebody who's writing an autobiography of Martin Luther King who I guess has like those FBI tape. They, you know, they bugged his hotel room, right? They yeah. bugged two lamps in his oh, hotel yeah, room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just trying to catch him getting sniz, bro. Have you heard the allegations? What? How he like claimed to be in the International Pussy Eaters Association or something? Yeah, I did hear something like that. <laughs> How dare you? On the day? Well, here's the fucked up thing. So I'm reading the business. The Business Insider article came out like two days ago. So someone was like, oh, I know what time it's. But Business Insider is such a weird publication to be like, all right, let's hit him with Hoover's FBI report on Martin yeah. Luther King. It was kind of strange. But they put out all this stuff it's saying for the like. clicks, baby. I, uh, pretty it's much. all for the clicks. There is no morality in journalism. Especially not Business Insider, dude. Yeah. I thought they're gonna be talking about something else. Because I, I pulled it up yesterday. I was going, I was researching famous historical figures who've cheated on their wife. I'm expanding, dude. I'm awesome. expanding my act. Oh, I hear you. So I'm expanding Working on that exactly. uh, Ben Franklin. Exactly. Thing. So I'm yeah, looking, nice, I'm seeing man. all these people who fucking cheated, and I'm like, that's hilarious. MLK comes up. I'm like, yeah, I heard he was a bit of a womanizer, dude. Uh, they're saying like he on tape. FBI people were listening, and a reverend he was a pastor he was with raped a woman in a hotel room they were all in and but then they were like the fbi was just sitting there like oh fuck and this again this is according to the fbi who heard there was a black guy being like hey come on this shit sucks for us and they were like go dig up some dirt on him i mean unreal. so it's like do you think they planted it do you think they made this shit up dude what the f- it's like it's the most uncomfortable thing to think about because from like any way you look at it it's like there's a chance this guy who was a freedom fighter was also a pussy hound Whatever. Yeah. But, dude, they're, like, going into, like, orgies where, like, they're saying, like, he would lay on the pillow and, like, get real close up on pen shots and, like, watch his boy fuck somebody. Oh, you know, it's so oh. weird and specific. <laughs> but then again, it's coming from Hoover's FBI, dude. Yeah. All right. Just the FBI one, dude. body Here's who was, the, like, we got to squash this unreal. black man. So let's dig up dirt. And they're like, this guy's like, well, we got all, but they it also, it's all sealed. He loves sticking his head near the <laughs> penetration. He, he was just getting, watching pen. That, according to this article, again, I, I could have just like made it to, into Dude, something I wanted. Think of these dudes in like a van being like, sir, we got him. <laughs> you know that shot in porn, the underneath <laughs> shot? He puts his head there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he called him, they, but then again, it's like all the things are sealed. So no one can, so there's this thing that's like, oh yeah, him. Yeah, he like watched drapes and stuff, but you guys can never hear it because it's sealed. So they're able to just be like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, he's a fucking pussy hound. Which, all right, so maybe maybe just once MLK had a couple cocktails. His boys were getting freaky in the hotel. Him and his squad was <laughs> fucking some chick, and he stuck his head down there. <laughs> I mean, Did you ever do something weird? I know. Just randomly? And then once the one time you get caught doing something weird, everyone's like, yeah, that's what he's into. I also like, love no, the dude, f- he's just doing something weird. He's I love the fun. fact it's like act as if if anyone bugged anyone's house for a significant amount of time, someone they're coming up with a DOS on you're me. getting hit. I'm hard. fried. Look, if they bugged my house, this whole weird like we bugged ourselves and it cost us <laughs> everything. <laughs> 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 we bugged ourselves early. <laughs> we bugged our lambs. Dude. We we're like, oh, nice. We're we're gonna start a comedy. <laughs> what a career. Nice. Let's just sabotage this immediately. <laughs> Dude, I've been listening to the Old Testament trying to fucking find stuff. <laughs> I've been listening to the Old Testament. It's wild, bro. We can't. It's, it's too much. It's, Every episode, it's like, all right, this is going well. This is going well. And then I'm like, fucking faggot. It's like, you, God damn You think it, we got to seal gotta, it? We're going to need Hoover's FBI to seal it. We can't seal it. We can't seal it. It's there. <laughs> but 
I, it's you know they're gonna is. they're gonna find out, dude. I I got the ultimate POV shot. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna find out, dude. <laughs> dude this is where I have to find you. If article. you listen, to, if they listen to just that, they'd be like, um, Matt lays on his side and jizzes, and then Shane comes in the room and lays on the bed where he just came. Oh yeah, <laughs> we talked about that. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff. I know. We split flashlight lube. Oh, that was well. That was not that bad. That is not bad. That's just friends. That's just friends being friends. That's friends sharing lube. I have to find this, dude. Martin Luther. God damn it on the internet here. Fuck. All right. Um, oh, really? I forgot to hook my... This is a new laptop. It's PA dude. gone wild, bro. Dude, but think about that. That's such a fucking like, weird conundrum. You know to what be the like, password is. I, I don't... It's your for, phone number. Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. The um, <laughs> I'll set it up. The That is a weird conundrum, though, because it's like... Could this guy, this like you know, civil rights freedom fighter, could he have been a pussy? A lot of great thinkers happen to also be pussy hounds, bro. Albert Einstein, fucked his cousin, bro. Cheated on his wife, True. fucked his cousin. A lot of them, dude. Yeah. But again, they're saying he Gandhi. He's, Gandhi. Laying he was with he was peed. laying with the teens, bro. Yeah, he was a peed, right? Bit we of can't a call him a peed. He was in India. He was in India back then, dude. Not when? a peed. When was this? Oh, fucking. 40s, 50s. How old are these girls? Very young. Well, pretty much all the rock and any rock and roll legend. Pretty much Beatles, Beatles mania, dude. That's what I'm saying. He so, had Beatle mania. He was like, she's only 17, if you know what I mean. So you, if you claim to be uh, rolling up the pedos and you still listen to classic, you got to stop listening to classic rock. Gotta That's turn it off. Yeah, dude. If you hate Epstein, you also hate Led Zeppelin, bro. Hate to break it to you. Sorry. Can't have both. You got to let dude like me. I listen to nothing but fucking spa meditation music. What do you think's going on in spas, dude? That might be the worst thing to listen to. You might be right. I had a deep, <laughs> dude. I did. I did a deep dive with us. What do you think they were playing at Epstein's temple? Exactly that. Beatles. Music. Beatles. We all live. On- <laughs> Sorry. The um. I had a deep dive, dude. I brought Sid the Kid and Butterly over. Nice. I've expanded my. Uh, I've expanded my. I don't know what you would call that. Your squad. Yeah. The exp- every, I've had two more people who've experienced it, dude. It's the simplest fucking thing. What? Getting high. You say that, dude. I've been listening to a book. It's called Cannabis and Spirituality. Thank you. Exactly. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. I see the words, too, as they come to me and I read them. Thank you for saying it. Dude, it's literally how you're supposed to use it. I'm I'm like, I come up, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't invent this, obviously. This was told to me by... It's how, you, it's how you're supposed to use weed? Yes. You're, okay. spo- you're not supposed to, like, this all day, every day, like, you know, excuse Lewis's blunt stuff there. I love him, but he's just abusing Santa Maria, dude, the fucking plant, True. the head plant spirit of cannabis. You're supposed to just only use it like once every two weeks. So, you know, two weeks, three weeks. I mean, again, you could do whatever you want. But if you want the maximal effect, you have to fast from the plant. And then you just, you know, take a moderate to large dose, lay down, blindfold, hit the fucking mute. I hit play to the wildest fucking playlist. Same thing with booze, bro. I'm on the same tip. No, dude. That's too much (laughs) yang energy, bro. No. That's yang energy. What do you mean? Yang, dude. That's all booze, cigarettes, they're repetitive. That's yang energy, dude. I'm all, this is yin. Bro. Football, booze, yang energy. What's dude. wrong with football? It's a yang cult, dude. How dare you? It's yang energy. I'm it's yang just, gang, bro. It's just a thrust. Not, How yeah, dare you? Yang, no, not politically. I'm talking yin yang. Yang's obviously the masculine penetrative force. Yin is more of like the passive kind of con- like contemplative force. We live in a yang culture, so we have to, it's important to get A rape yin. culture? Yeah. Yang, dude. <laughs> it's a yang culture? Yang, dude. It, football's a yang cult. Tobacco, anything that's like requires repetitive, constant use, that's yang. So anything that requires discipline is yin. Is yang, dude. Repetitive, you, awesome. You stick with it. You keep doing it. <laughs> it's not discipline. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you like, dude, this book I'm reading, it's it's crazy. Because this I is do the same thing though. Every you know, once once a week, two weeks, get shit faced, lay in a room, turn the lights off, just channel the Viking gods, dude. Channel them all. Channel all the yang gods, dude. dude. Genghis Khan, <laughs> speak to me. Genghis Khan was one of the people. He's I, like, you should get up and piss in the hotel <laughs> sink. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. It, it's, you should stare in the mirror at yourself naked while you piss in the sink. <laughs> Thank you, Genghis. <laughs> telling you. Unbelievable! I did it. Me said the kid. If you're not getting fucked up and pissing in the hotel sink, dude, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> You have to piss in the sink. You have to piss in the sink. There's nothing wrong with sorry. that. Sorry. No, please. Sorry, I shouldn't there's, be on the air right there's now. There's nothing wrong with that. Speaking of, Alex Jones, my name was spoken in, in Alex Jones' studio, bro. 
I mean, they talked about it. We're Thank done. you, Tim Dillon. Dude. We did it. We're done. Exactly. That was the mountaintop. That was the point of this whole podcast. We did it. So, I don't know. I mean, whatever the cost was, it doesn't matter. Worth it, dude. We got Alex Jones. Dude, dude. hold on. Let's think about what we've gotten. We both we got on Saturday Night Live. We yes. both got on Saturday Night Live. We both got that. We both got on Alex Jones. What else no. have we got? How many things have we, we got? We got CNN. We were on LA CNN. Times. Dude. What it, what else we can got we do? Fucking failing New York Times. We got that. <laughs> That's my new thing now. I'll be like, yeah, presidential dude. candidate. We got that. Turn that down. That was a strong turn down. I did turn that down. He wanted, he wanted to sit down and talk. Reach I out, said, take that. Said dog, give me a minute because I'm gonna come off like an emo bitch. True. If we talk. <laughs> still on the table. I don't. I don't think. I doubt it. Does he still have the same cell phone? Yes. Call him up. I'm like, you want to call him for the cast right yeah, now? Yeah, like, yo, Andrew, what's up, bro? No, I can't abuse that. Yo, I can't abuse his trust. Let's dude. wiretap him. Let's record what? the president nominee secretly, dude. They did it yeah, to Trump. You think we should do they that? did it to Trump, bro. <laughs> you think we should do that? You think that's gonna help? <laughs> Obama did it, court allegedly. True. Obama, Obama did fucking, wire up Trump. He listened to Trump. We should fucking the reason you know that that's not true, that yeah. Obama didn't wire that, because right away they would have got dirt immediately <laughs> and they didn't report it. Well, that was a weird thing. It was like, how did they not get dirt on him yet? Dude, the powers dog? the powers that be that are digging on that guy. Dude, I I mean, take me six minutes. They're like, oh, this guy owes a parking authority five thousand dollars. I mean, shut up, shut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it takes to get dirt on someone. For me, it took four hours, literally, <laughs> to actually have the article complete. Took like four hours. How did? I mean, I just wonder how they haven't got him yet. They got the pussy Trump tape. Dog? They got the pussy tape. I mean, bro, they? you're talking lawyers. You're talking tax guys. But again, he has lawyers and tax, so he's I guess kind of like set up for that against that. Yeah, he cheated too. Go ahead. He he cheated on his bet. Yeah, he's. I mean, he openly was a pussy hound forever, yeah. so they can't really get him on that. Yeah, I think that's his defense. Is just like he's pretty much been openly shitty. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't drink. Yeah, Claims to have he's, never he's drank. Like or smoked snorting cigars. Adderall. True. <laughs> True. He's doing <laughs> something, man. Yeah. Did you see that picture of him? Remember when he did that Taco Tuesday thing? When everyone was like, he hates Hispanics. And then he, he tweeted like a picture of him eating a Taco Tuesday yeah, bowl. Yeah, was it like a burrito bowl? Yeah, he was eating like a burrito bowl in his office at Trump Tower. It was yeah. like, we love Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. But there was an open drawer in the background that was just filled with Sudafed. Like 30 fucking packs of Sudafed. What? He's just fucking, he's going through the nose up there, boy. Sudafed's like allergy medicine. Yeah, I think it was Sudafed. You think right? he's doing the shake fucking, and bake? The spray, the yeah. nostril spray. You think he's doing shake? Oh, I thought he's making like shake and bake meth. No, what's the? Is it Sudafed? It's Sudafed, the, you spray that yeah. shit up your nose. Yeah. yeah, that's why every once in a while you'll hear his debates, and he's like, yeah, he might have an obstructed nasal. He has passage. like a closed nose for like once every three speeches. Why does he get that fixed? Uh, I don't know, somebody said he was snoring Adderall on The Apprentice. Really? That was that was one of. I mean. Why he's been hit he, with just about every allegation. Why would he not just get the best Coke? Why would like a guy who's that rich snort Adderall? I, yeah, maybe yeah, that's he, probably like, why maybe. it's not true. Yeah. Oh, that's... Who knows? You don't talk about the commander in chief like that. Snorting Adderall? How dare you? Hey, I don't. Th- that's not a geezer move, dude. It's not. Geezers don't snort Adderall. No. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Fair. Then again, if you're hanging with Young, you might have been hanging with some Young Sniz, and they were like, "Check this out." Crush me some more of those orange things. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is that? Time release? I feel, Crush it. I feel unstoppable. <laughs> is it time release? Crush this, it. This is how I make deals. <laughs> Snorts Adderall, goes in and talks to Kim Jong-un. He's like, get rid of your nukes. I mean, dude, that is business school. You can pay like $100,000 for business school, or you can just start snorting Adderall. Either way, you're it's, going to the top. Exactly. It's the Either same. way, you're taking dude, over. Dude, I worked at a real estate company. Yeah. I used to sell Adderall to the guys I worked with. And there was like higher ups there that would come in, gack the fuck out to meetings. Yeah. It'd be like... Uh, this is the president, and they would come in. I was like, dudes, what the fuck? Yeah, I was taking some Adderall sometimes. Don't, it's not for me. It gives like me a it, headache. Bro. It's just too much. I, dude, I can't take that. I, I, liked it, I liked it when I was, like, if I was going to day drink. It was pretty good for that. Mm-hmm. It would keep you going, but other than that, it's just. Yeah, well, I, I inherently have, like, way too much Yang energy. So, like, when I take Adderall, I just go way over the top. Really? Yeah, well, that's why some I, guys, I Some guys to. can't handle even a little bit of Yang. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have so yeah. much of it. So, I have. that's why I'm constantly nah, going yin nah, just nah, to balance It's just myself. a lot. You're just, you're very <laughs> passive, very subdued, no, soft. And no. as soon as something confrontational like Yang energy comes, you freak out. It's understandable. No, no don't way, Look, dude. look, look. It's fine. Matt, it's not totally everything fine. you do is perfect. I'm not saying it's, it's perfect. It's okay. I told you I can't Matt, take Adderall. Matt, Matt, Matt. 
I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm saying I have too much Yang energy, dude. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> is soccer a Yang sport or a Yin sport? I'd say it's a, it's a bit of a balance. Are all sports Yang? No. Not what all sport? sports? With golf? That's a lot of yin energy. That's there. a lot of yin energy. A lot of yin energy. You gotta just harness yourself. Because yeah, when you, you try to go focus. to yang on a golf, the ball fucking yeah. curves out. Um, yeah, no, yeah. MMA. Yang energy, bro. Uh, really? Unless you do jujitsu. There's a lot of yin in there. There's, there's point. Yeah, there's again. This all boils down to individuals. I mean, what do you think football is? Why do you think it's yang like that? Football is pretty much yang energy, bro. Ooh, <gasps> you know how it's much you have pass to blocking? think and, to, and figure yourself out. You can't go out there all fired up. You'll fuck up. True. You know? But I would say primarily. I mean, of course, you're hitting the you're hitting the fundamental reality. Are you excited? <laughs> Sorry, we're just. Are you excited for the Super Bowl? Oh, I can't wait, bro. Who you got? Chiefs, baby. Chiefs versus the Forty ers Nice. Yeah, man. Look I at saw, that, dude. I watched it. You watched the Sports Center. I saw the we uh yeah we got the some sort of sports package on our TV now somehow. Oh. We got everything through like the Amazon Fire Stick or something. Who you got? Uh, I want the Chiefs to win. Nice. Yeah. Fair. I don't know. I'm w- I'm gonna wait till they see the game. Whoever's gonna is winning, I'm gonna cheer for them. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're a bandwagon. At a I don't Super like Bowl to cheer party. for the losing team. Yeah, I don't like. I just like to, to like rejoice with the victory. It's a sick move. Just bring much- a hat. Just bring two hats. <laughs> and just after the first touchdown, be like, "Excuse me." It's- Go to the bathroom, toss it on, <laughs> come back, be like, "What I miss?" I might get two NFC champion hat or whatever the two yeah. champion hats, and literally go to someone's Super Bowl party and just stay quietly switching hats in the bathroom. That'd be tight, dude. That'd be so funny. That's People a good like, move. Like, no, I've been wearing this hat. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. That would be so fucking funny. That would be sick. That's why I watch sports. I just wait for the victory. I mean, it doesn't matter who wins. I wait for the victory, and I'm just like, yes! <laughs> yes! In your fucking face. Babe, we fucking did it! <laughs> babe, I fucking love you so much. You yeah, or, kiss your babe oh, in front yeah, of everybody sure. in front of the TV. I just spray fucking champagne on my grandfather's yeah. grave. I'm like, we fucking did it. Love you, pops. The Minnesota Vikings are fucking 14 and 4. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good record You did good there Is it close? Yeah Yes dude That was good How many games you play again? 14 In regular season? NFL is 16 Okay That's not bad But then postseason Exactly There you go Yes dude Yeah I'm man That's dude I'm telling you I love watching sports And seeing a victory And just If you know If you started it. to figure out sports You'd be on top You would know everything True There's nothing else to know True but then again, you sports, could, I could just leave. The sports podcast t- would be, you would control both <laughs> yin and yang. No way. <laughs> Dude, so I didn't get into the deep dive. What's that? Oh, you, yeah. You have to do this. Your fucking yin squad. Yin squad, baby. <laughs> yin gang, dude. The yin gang. Well, gang's a little bit of a yang word. True, true. You then. want something yin more squad. passive. Yin squad. Yeah. Yin collective. The, uh, the yin collective. Yin collective. Dude, I'm literally, I'm getting a space and I'm going to start doing this. That's my plan. I that what now that I can pay my bills, praise fucking praise Santa Maria, praise fucking Adonai through the podcast. I'm I'm using all my other money to start a, basically a like a center that I'm just gonna. I told I, t- I talked about this on the Patreon, so I'm gonna do Dude, therapy. You're building a fucking fort, a playhouse for you and your buddies to smoke dope. Brain park. <laughs> you're building a fucking playhouse. Uh, excuse me, it's called a brain park for you and your buddies to fart around. No, dude, this is yo. You do. I'm it's gonna have fucking, it's romp- it's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have you and Lewis J. You and Lewis J. Are my next deep dives, dude. <laughs> you can't get me. And you Lewis. have to do it, dude. You couldn't get me and Lewis. Lewis would do it. Lewis will try to do it. He's too yang. Dude, I I'm joke too- around about it. He's actually far too retarded. I'm telling you, dude. You, you guys think this, but there's these plants that have grown that'll literally hit you right where you need to be hit. Close, you hit the music on, dude. It was we did it. So the format is you do it. You set it. I'll all do up. it if you go get fucked up with me then too. Yeah, I'll go drink. I'll, sick. I'll imbibe Yang energy just to have Thank you do you. it for sure. You gotta come. You gotta dance with me too. Then that's fine. I'll come down. I'll do your little fucking sit around, cry and smoke weed joint. <laughs> have fun down there. At the, <laughs> have fun down there at the clubhouse. <laughs> sure, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> That'd be sick, dude. You smoke could... weed and cry. <laughs> I'll come down and cry because me and my dad don't get along at your little weed playhouse. Wow, dude. dude. Yo, I'm going to hire a fish cover band to come down <laughs> for the opening ceremony. There's like 60 of them, dude. Which one are you going to yeah. get? I'm going to get you guys a sick jam dude, band. Get splintered. Are white dreadlocks a requirement at your new... I fucking wish, at, dude. <laughs> dude, get splintered room? sunlight. Do you promise me you'll call it the rumpus room? No, dude. You, I mean, dude. It's this the rumpus is, room, dude. It's just... Santa Maria, he knows not what he does. Please, <laughs> Santa Maria... Donya, Donya Maria, Donya Maria, please fucking spare Donya, him. Donya, don't listen to this dude, lying. <laughs> Donya is going to fucking put you down. Religion dude. is gang, bro. 
it is my this is my Catholic, religion. Catholic religion is yanged out. Catholic it's literally super you. yanged out. They've monopolized divine experience and they're like, trust take our word for it. Yeah. You guys, this used to be accessible to everybody and like the thing that like gave people meaning in their life, they're like, No, 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 we got that for you. We guys. got it. Just give us money. Give us some money. We'll bury you when you're dead. If not, you're going to hell. Horrible, dude. It's a good move. <sighs> it's strayed far from what it Sorry, was. Sorry, I like getting papered, dude. Really? Me and the Catholic Church are on the same page. You like that? Getting papered up. Just go, it's just a winter circle. You just go there and you're like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I'm telling you, man. It's an, so you, right. you get so it set I'll up. Hire, look, I'll, I promise you, I'll get you the best Grateful Dead cover band. Please. To come down, jam sesh. I would for the honestly love ceremonies. that. Sick jam sesh. Yes. And then everybody can just get high as fuck. Mm hmm. It'll be fun. You're talking about a Yang application. There is misuse of the plant, dude. You're talking about how, God forbid, Santa Maria, dude, was stepped on and trampled and oppressed and then pulled into like a Yang drug taking system, which would be the whole like, we're going to get fucked up. Or It's not about that, dude. She punishes that kind of activity, too. That's why you lay in your bed and it's not so fun for you, dude. What are you talking about? You're I take have it, you fun take in weed my bed. Th- you take weed through I Yang. I fun in my bed. Now you have weed. True. <laughs> it's a negative experience. Santa Maria, dude. Santa Maria blesses me when I do mushrooms, though. That's not Santa Maria, bro. That's Who's that? That's the head medicine spirit of uh, psilocybin. Who's there's, he? There's head medicine spirits of all the plants. There's like a thousand spirits in every plant, but yeah. there, you have to find the head medicine spirit. Dude, Damn. I literally figured this out. During the deep dive... Well, the other What one. was the deep dive? So... Sorry. It's an hour, so you, you have... I had Sid the Kid, Buddily come over... Hit them with the edibles first. Chill right, so out. You guys get high as fuck on gummy bears. Not yet. So you let while that's kicking in, you sit, talk. I had my, I have a big old, real comfortable bean bag. Sit the kids on my little <laughs> got chase bean lounge. bags, lava lamps. It's pretty tight, dude. So he goes down. So you're while the edible is is you know starting to kick in while the while the uh, the bong. That's the name of the. Ingestible. <laughs> that's where the term comes from. It's the ingestible. That was like the the milk tea they used to make in India. It was called bong, but the. Uh, that's where they say so much. You comes and from. your culture have perverted it into no. a bong, bro. No, dude. just like the Nazis took the swastika out of there it's and true. perverted it. It's you true. and your stoner ilk. Nope, that was just Santa Maria getting by as she needed to for the time, dude. She, they, we forced her underground, dude. She had to live through those channels. So the uh, so you you take it. Edibles in, and then you sit down. I'm like, all right, here's the deal. I explain Santa Maria to them. So then oh, man. <laughs> you get your friends high and then start talking about <laughs> yeah, Santa Maria. So, <laughs> first of all, so they had the gummy. The gummy hasn't kicked in yet. Fire up the volcano. So what the way you do it, and I learned this through cannabis and spirituality, you got to get all the blend. So you got to get an indica, sativa, and a hybrid. So I have six different strains. So you're like getting body highs, head highs. You get you're the not full, that hungry. Full spectrum. Whew. Well, the hunger will come in, but that's you can put a little bit of Himalayan salt in the water. And that gives your body electrolytes so that it doesn't uh, crave acidic foods. So when you when you're it's in that <laughs> when, you, when you're in the grasp of Santa Maria, that's it. You're in an alkaline. It, your body goes into an alkaline. So wait, state. the plants crave electrolytes. No, but Santa it's Maria what plants crave. They do, but they put you in an out. They, they plants put you in an alkaline state, and then your body normally running on acidic, uh, like inflammatory. Damn, you're very Eastern. You're very Eastern, like medicine tech. You know, I'm I'm a combination of both. I like both, dude. I'm I'm a, again I'm Apollonian, so I'm a synthesizer. So I'm right on the line of the yin and the yang. Anyway, True. but the uh, <laughs> so then I think you're that dot mm. in the yang, that little dot. You think I'm the yin dot in the yang? Thank yeah. you, bro. That's what's up. I feel that. I like that. You're surrounded by yang, but you you exude yin. I try to, dude. Yeah. Uh, I I put yang. Except when you dude. bend forks out of anger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Sorry. while so I, I make the I told him I was like this is this is the blend dude you got this is a little bit of everything put that in the volcano we're hitting the volcano you hit the volcano bags pretty seriously hit the very spiritual important volcano dude you got to work with the tools you have dude yeah and the volcano is nice because then you get the all like when you vaporize it it's a little bit different when you add the the edible in there so dude I get them in a state of the volcano where like things are looking a little cartoonish and I'm like all right guys it sounds a little weird I explained Santa Maria I'm like. You gotta. You have to. This is the thing. This is probably where you probably go wrong when you try to utilize <laughs> cannabis. You have to set an intention. When I get high like a jackass, <laughs> <laughs> you have to set an intention. When I'm up there <laughs> laughing and giggling like a damn jackass, <laughs> you have to set an intention. All right. So you have to go. All right. This is what I'm, I told him. Like, if you don't have one, just 
set an intention of interfacing with Santa Maria, the head. I just take a bunch of mushrooms and come hang out. You could do that too. Yeah. You can do that too. I mean, it would definitely be battling energies, but we could probably contain it. Sure, either way, if I'm there, we're battling energies. (laughs) (laughs) Can I sneak some Bud Lights? No one's looking, dude. Just shotgun a BL. Dude, you can't have Bud Light. That's like, oh, everyone's gay here. <laughs> <laughs> Genghis, help. You can do that. They Genghis they warned, come. They warned come against al- alcohol can be a crutch for people in this state because it just it just washes out. Yeah. Because you need the if you it, it kind of uh whatchamacallit. Well, if you're smoking cigarettes, tobacco kind of calcifies your pineal gland. Yeah. So it's like if you have cigarettes, you're like you're that's when people mix uh tobacco and cannabis. I don't say marijuana or weed anymore. When they mix it, it's they say like dude, this book is so fun. The the claims they make are just kind of like well, obviously tobacco uh, like calcifies pardons the brain. Wa- pardons the walls around the pineal gland. So like when you smoke a spliff, basically they're saying that it like hardens the walls around the pineal gland, but activates the pineal gland. So you get trapped in there. You're like Aah! all your yin energy just freaks you out. But you know, so your alcohol just threw me off track. But so that's the whole. So you, you get people into a state where like I explain to them like set an intention, think about something you want to think about, work on. If not. Just mess around. You don't have to believe in it, but just and mess think around. About Santa Maria with interfacing with a, like Mary. a medicine spirit. Could be Mary. Could be Santa Maria, bro. But Mary could be an emanation. That's Saint Mary. That's yeah. Mary. That's Jesus's mother. Yeah, could be. Could be, dude. Nice. Again, I mean, we're not going to talk about you know. You got to channel the Virgin Mary. You can, but again, I you talk about like the what is it? The monotheistic cults out of the desert. Obviously, they're harsh because their natural habitat was like not. It was pretty unforgiving. Therefore, their god they projected was like the manifestation of a natural See, habitat. But anyway, the uh, yeah. So you know that's why the Old Testament god so nasty and a motherfucker because they were desert people. Yeah. So they're just pissed. Yeah, that literally it came from the deserts. Mono Western monotheism came from the deserts. So anyway, excuse me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yeah, you set an intention, you interface with Santa Maria, and dude, when I'm explaining them Santa Maria, they're just both, I see their eyes, they're just like, they're so fucking high at this point, they're just like. They're so fucking high, dude. dude. So then, uh, I don't know, I didn't have a mask on, hit the lights out, took the music on, and it wasn't the playlist. I'm gonna gonna donate a case of eye drops and Axe body spray for your boys. That'd be tight, dude. You guys can spray up before you go back in the house (laughs) for dinner. You don't smell, because it's a vaporizer. I'm ten steps ahead of you, bro. You don't think that place is gonna smell like weed a little? Very faintly, dude. When you smoke a volcano, it's gone in like. T- I'm telling you, it's gone in like two seconds. It's vape. It's, it's like a, a tea kettle boiling. So then, in it's like an hour and fifteen minutes. You're on. You're laying down. In total it is darkness. Tea time. tea time, dude. You're laying down. You're just. You're talking to Santa Maria, dude. You're doing your thing. Then about an hour and fifteen, you come back together, and you're like, "This is what I was thinking about, dude. It's the fucking best." Butterly came up with a story idea that might be the coolest thing I've ever fucking heard. Do you want to share it or no? I, I couldn't even share it if I tried. It's good. It's really cool. Okay. It's animated. I'll let him share it because I don't. I f- literally forget it. I don't forget. I know what it is, but I wouldn't be able to explain it. Yeah. The order he explained it in. It's fucking sick. Nice. I heard it. I was like, this is awesome. Were Amazing. you high when you heard it? I, I mean, I was in an alkaline state for sure, but like I wouldn't say I was high. I don't. You know, I don't use like that. Because sometimes shot. I write down uh, ideas when I'm in an alkaline state. Nah, dude. And I know what you're saying. This was a legitimately very good idea. Okay. I'm telling you. I believe you. I came I up just. Uh, just just you know, for sure, that playing happens. devil's advocate because I am the devil, dude. <laughs> Google, Google go, that quote. <laughs> go. <laughs> Gomez was talking about how he had an da- angel and a devil on his shoulder over the really? weekend. Really, he said the angel died. Go- devil killed the angel. Real. He's purely dark and twisted, dude. Where did he say that? Did he say that for real? Right in your chair. And he, did he say it genuinely? I think he's fucking around. He's so funny, dude. He is, man. I'm I spe- so glad. Everybody's- I spent the entire weekend basically with Gomez. Dude. He might be the funniest. I was like a little jealous. I was up there, you know, True. dude. I'm doing my thing. I'm out yeah. here on my journey, dude. Hundred percent. But I was like, oh man, all my my boys are getting together. Doing it's pods. good to see everybody coming dude, together. If you, me, and Bees, the one we did yesterday, if you, me, Bees, and Gomez got to do one, that would have been dude, so much fucking the, fun. The the Philly the Philly collective is just it's out of the, the it's podcast out of gang is just too strong out of control we just added the wood man to the whew, sky the squad is just I'm telling you dude it's too powerful right now it is man it, it is people know people are noticing dude so then so we go we we're do gonna be th- like atlanta in rap oh for sure remember when atlanta blew up we're out of crunk. nowhere everyone was like wait this isn't new york or la who are yeah. these guys bam we're crunk dude whoa we're i eight. might be little john <laughs> <laughs> i'm the i'm both of the yin yang twins <laughs> Onk, onk. <laughs> uh, I was just talking to somebody about that. The reason Atlanta blew up like that is because they were just they were only making music for strip clubs. Like New York and LA were making uh, music for the radio, but 
LA or Atlanta was like focused entirely on making good dance music for strippers. That's, an, that's a that's good how, mission. Like, that genre just blew up. Yeah, that's awesome. That's I was like, how the fuck did Atlanta just explode? Is like the best. Because anytime that shit comes on in a strip club, it's like yes. Because there was like a I, almost ten year period where Atlanta was the best. Yeah, pretty wild. Yeah, it was. It was like Ti, uh, Yang Yang Twins. I mean, Outcast off, off of Outcast. Outcast was a little True. earlier, but they were just like a, yeah. they were like radio success. Yeah. Yeah, it was Yin Yang Twins, Yin Yang Twins, T.I., out or uh Wasn't CeeLo down there? CeeLo's down there. He's he got hard me too'd. CeeLo Green got Yeah, way back when. He was basically Cosbian. CeeLo was doing that? Mm-hmm. He got like <laughs> le- alleged he was alleged that he was Cosbian. Was that before or after his cell phone blew up in his ear? <laughs> you ever see that fake video they yeah, made? Yeah. It's just a fake viral video. <laughs> yeah, he he they like came out that he was like basically uh slipping like Molly and stuff in people's drinks. He also wears a fucking like space ghost outfit. Yeah. So if you're hanging out with him, like everyone's... Yeah, that's one of those where if you get raped by him, the question is, what was he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, wait, did he show up dressed like a ghostbuster? <laughs> All right. Well, it's kind of on you. It's like, and you didn't think there's gonna be drugs in your yeah, drink? Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, dude. But no, it was uh it was cool. It was awesome. Spud, rave reviews. <laughs> Butterly oh, wow. Sid are now in the you thing. You hit the Spud Man with it. Spud Man, dude, that would ask Spud about it. It was, it was like total one eighty for him. Spud's but. looking for spiritual guidance. I'm not, dude. I found my Lord and Savior. What's your Lord and Savior? You know, no, our one and only, Jesus. I thought you said Adonai. Please, okay, that's fair. Please, that's fair, dude. So I had an insight. This I was, don't need. I don't need saving. You don't. I'm perfect, dude. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> things are fine. Okay, I'm doing great. Pride comes before the fall. Pa- Pride <laughs> comes before the fall, dude. I'm telling you, the deep dive. It's it's a it's a good experience because it's like it's easy. It's super light. It doesn't take much out of you. And it's dude, it's fucking crazy how if you do it properly, yeah, that you you do go into like a, a fucking state. It's fucking nuts. I came up with this, so I'm sitting there. I they were sitting, they were laying down. So like I'll just sit in my computer chair. I started thinking about um, what the fuck. It was something about like. I think I've, I had like a heart app on my watch and it beeped and I was like, I constantly am thinking like my heart's, I'm going to have a heart attack. Now, I'm, 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 you know, I don't obviously, but I had, that was a thing I had for a while and my heart thing beeps and I was just like, this is it. I knew it. My heart's going, I'm getting sensors at my heart's or like sensor alerts. My heart's getting fucked up. And uh, so I feel a tinge of anxiety and I'm like, God damn it. So I'm like, here I am again, baby. Flood it with the negative neurochemicals. I got, you know, I got like a, like whatever, adrenaline, all those other things that give you, make you, give you that anxiety feeling. So I'm like, all right, how do I get out of this? And I'm I'm in like a meditative trance, dude. So I'm, you're just like thinking, like, and you're just visualizing your thoughts. It's fucking sick. And then I was like, all right, I have to start thinking good thoughts because I'm my bad thoughts are triggering or triggering like a, a cascade of negative neurotransmitters. So I have to think the good thoughts. So I'm like, all right, I'm thinking the good thoughts. I'm like, I'm cool, this and that. My fucking life's sick. All right. And then it was like, it's not working. And then I was like, oh yeah, in order to to get the actual neurochemical payoff, you have to believe the good thoughts. In order to believe the good thoughts, you have to live an honest, true life, dude. So I'm like, damn, I do those things. That's what's up. Psh, goes away. And I'm like, fuck, I just figured it out. At least how to get like out yeah. of a negative mind state. Typically, you, nice. have to che- you have to check in. You have to go, all right, what's good? And you're like, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And if you can't think of anything good, it's like, well. What if your life's a fucking mess, dude? That's when you start. That's that's the point of Santa Maria. Then you go, okay. Well, what, what could can I, I do, Santa Maria? What could I be doing better, dude? I did it. What does Santa Maria say? Does she say? So, to give you an example, or does she just speak through you? She speaks through you. She's in your body, basically, but because you ingest her. But the so the other, I I was having problems with my bay, dude. We're fighting like motherfuckers constantly. It wasn't that bad. It's getting better, but it's like we're just tit for tatting. I'm I'm in my head like, it's her. I know it's her. She's and like I've really thought like I'm I'm not doing anything. It's her. Um, so before, like, you know, a week before the last one I did, I'm like, let's, there's a first time I ex- try to mess around with Santa Maria. Dude, I lay, I sit there. I'm like, Santa Maria, tell me what's wrong with my fucking stupid wife. <laughs> Dude, she was, I was literally just within like two seconds. It was like, well, you haven't done this. You guys don't go anywhere. You guys don't do anything. You don't really touch her that much. <gasps> like all this thing. Now I obviously like do, but they're like, dude, like I was going to get her a massage basically. Yeah. And then it was basically like. Why would you pay somebody else to rub your wife? Santa Maria was basically like, you're gay. Santa Maria, you got high and we're like, I'm gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was like, go do this, go do that. And then it was like, in my, and this is all kind of occurring in your head. And it's like, 
you guys don't do anything. And I was like, all right, well, I'll just tell her we'll go see a movie. I was like, hey, we should go see a movie. I don't take you anywhere. Dude, instant smiles. Instant. I was like, fuck, God damn it. Yeah. Pretty crazy, dude. So you think, like, it does, it kind of just, like, my friend was explaining this to me last night. It just kind of, like, pushes, pulls your ego apart for long enough that you can be like, okay, here's all the weird stuff I'm doing wrong that I'm just inherently, I just won't see because of my, I just can't take it living yeah. like that. If you were seeing all the stuff you're doing wrong 24-7, oh. you can't function, oh. bro. Yeah. I'm seeing it. So- <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching from the sidelines on most of it. So then, and dude, in, in the book, too, it talks about this, how you get to, like, when you get deep enough into that state, you interact with like your very deepest base level fears and then you get yourself through like thinking about it. You can literally remove them and then experience what it's like to not have those baseline fears in your head. And then like when it, when it like goes up, they come back and you're just like, Oh Jesus Christ, I'm carrying all this. And you know, you can start working to get out of it. It's pretty crazy. Mm. Pretty tight. My center is going to be tight, dude. When I open that up, centers, centers, you got to franchise this thing. It'll be open source, totally free franchise. This is I'm opening a nonprofit public institution, so it's just going to be like I just want this place to exist. So if yeah. it, if here's how much this place costs, if I can get is this, there gonna much, be a uniform you have to wear to enter the dojo. No way, dude. Gray sweatsuit would be tight. That would be cool. Gray sweatsuits are 100 percent welcome. I might put one of those uh, opposite signs up when it's like no sports jerseys, no Timberlands. I'm like must wear sports jerseys, Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be tight. Must wear sports jerseys. That would be tight if everyone showed Everybody up. Everybody has to wear throwback jerseys. Dressed like Lisa Left Eye Lopez. <laughs> yeah, you have to wear a throwback jersey. <laughs> but yeah, I might do that. So yeah, that was the weekend. The weekend was a fucking success. Nice. Me so, too. That's what's up. I had a successful weekend. You had the stress factor. It was a good week. Oh, except the first fucking night. What the happened? first night I stayed there, uh, the hotel room was set to 80 degrees. Set the fucking thermostat to 65 when I got in. Yeah. Got back to my room after the show, so I got in late. I got in like two rooms at eighty fucking degrees. And you set it to sixty five. Yeah, they, they, so I go down to the lobby, and they're like, "Yeah, we can't change that. It's just the it's this hotel was built, so it's either hot or cold, and the heat's on right now. So your room's just that. So that thing's fake. The thing that you think you can control. In the that it with? was, yeah. That sucks. So my room was eighty degrees, and I I just couldn't sleep. Went to bed. I probably fell asleep at like four. Oh. Woke woke back up around like six thirty, and couldn't go back to sleep. Oh. Just laid in bed for like three hours, just with the weirdest intense anxiety, like just frustration and anger from just not being able to sleep and how hot it was. Like <laughs> trying to sleep, being that like sucks. I need to sleep or I'm fucked. Were you solo in the room? No. To- well, it was a suite, so I put gotcha, gotcha. put Tommy out on a cot out mm-hmm. in the living room. He had a good time. Yeah. He had a nice cot out there. It was, was it nice. Cool it was out there? cooler out there. What, did you yeah. have a window? I opened it out there, but it wasn't. My room just had heat just blasting. Oh, bro. <laughs> it was crazy. So I went down to the lobby and I was like, I went down to the lobby at like 8 a.m. Oh. Still not being able to sleep. Disgruntled. And I was like, oh, I was, I was just, I was just, was, I looked like a maniac, dude. <sighs> Saw myself in that mirror. I was like, oh, man. Oh. They're not going to trust me. But I went down. I was like, "My room's eighty. Trying to trust me." <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "All right, get out of here, man. Go back to bed." But that's basically what she hit me with. She was like, "Yeah, that's just what it is." She put you and back to bed. Our room sold out, so that's where you're sleeping. And I was just like, "All right, oh. is there anything we can do?" They were like, uh, "We can give you like a fan." So, all right, I'll send take, it I'll up. Take that, yeah. So like an hour later, I get a knock on the door. Some kids hand, handed me a fan. Oh, I had to put it in my room. There were no outlets either. The only outlet was in the center of the bed, behind the bed against the wall. I had to move the mattress to plug this fucking thing in. Dude, I had to unplug the light. So there's no light in my room now. <laughs> so the whole weekend, my room was dark. It was in a hot, dark oh, box. Bro, it was hellish. That sucks. I slept for maybe three hours the first night. Oh. Yeah. Dude, getting too hot and sleeping But I was blows. so, like... So it had sliding doors out to the living room so I could see Tommy's cot like uh-huh. while I was sleeping and the anger from the anxiety, <laughs> like the anxiety and anger in me. I was literally like laying in bed, just staring at him being like, piece of shit woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole woke me up, asshole. And then the toilet was running. <laughs> Dude, this is how crazy. I was going crazy. <laughs> It was nuts. Dude, the toilet was running in the bathroom, so it's, I thought the shower was on. Yeah. I texted him at 7 in the morning. I was like, are you in the fucking shower right now, dude? I hate you. 
And he was he was in bed out in the living room. The next day, I woke up just like I'm sorry, man. I had a wild night. I, I slept for like two hours. He was blissed out, just sleeping. He was out. He was out. I noticed he was out there after I had texted him, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm losing my mind right now. This is crazy." I just scolded him for being in the bathroom. Damn. Yeah. You think wild. You, had the, you think you had the DTs? I don't know. You might have the DTs, bro. What's that? You stopped drinking. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You demons. What? No, I didn't have that. It was from. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. It was just full <laughs> fucking. Just not being able to sleep. You know that feeling of like, I need to sleep. And yeah, then you get just it. get even more angry and awake. I get it every night. Wild. She comes in from like, come, she works like a later shift and comes in at night and just comes in full blast. Like, ah, nah, nah, like grabbing me and yeah, And I'm like, no, no, like I'm sleeping. Yeah. You're awake. But that doesn't mean I'm going inter- to like interact with you on this level. Dude, it's like, or I'll lay down. She's like, can you um get me? And I'm just like. Ah. I've been waking up grumpy lately too. So do Lu- Dude, that's why Louis J got kicked out of his hotel. Oh, he was he grumpy. Woke when he up woke grumpy. Up. Oh, and he said he just went down, wanted soup. They weren't quick enough with it. All right. Well, I I come out of it after like ten minutes. Yeah, that's I would not go down to the lobby and be like, "Where's my fucking soup?" He did, dude. I should have channeled Lewis and freaked out on the staff at that hotel because that was crazy. That might have been why he woke up grumpy. He might have felt your True. customer dissatisfaction and was just like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, because he said he woke up grumpus and then went down and started. Dude, that was the funniest story I've ever Man. heard. It was he was explaining the situation. It was just a complete situation. I'm so glad you guys get to experience this person. He's dude. He tries it like I've gone out to eat with him a couple of times. It's nuts. I've never seen someone treat people like this. Really? Yeah, dude. He motherfucks every Uber driver, motherfucks every cab driver, every if you're every restaurant you go to, mm-hmm. he's gonna complain. Unless it's you're wild. unless you're good. It's wild. And if you're good, he'll he'll, he'll, he'll say it. Yeah, like you're he'll great. be very outward, like this is how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> All right, slow down, dude. <laughs> yeah, but that was that was the first night. Bounced back though. Yeah, it had a good. I thought that was gonna kill me. I thought I'd be like super like mm. cloudy and all that. But the uh, you know once you get on stage, all that fucking adrenaline right yep. away. I was fine. Great shows. Everything was good. Um, yeah, it was fun. Good weekend. Stress. You, so the stress factor was good. Stress factor was a good weekend. Damn, that's successful. Good. That dude being hot and not being able to sleep fucking blows. That's terrible. That's so you didn't have a window favorite. in your room? Yeah, but you can't really open hotel rooms. You can only, yeah, you only you can give open you like, like a, a crack. Flaccid bird. Yeah. Like, they, like, the guy holds up his flaccid bird. He's like, all right, that's enough. But dude, they were, like, they were like, we'll send up an engineer to open your window. I was like, you don't, I mean. If you open it, I might actually. I'm going to jump, dude. I might, yeah, I might lob. It's like, you might regret that. What? Nothing. Oh, I knew you said. I might lob. What's that mean? <laughs> just lob myself out the window. What's wrong with that? Got a lob. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Whew, that'd be tough. Yeah. There's a. I'll tell you after. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why that's a problem. <laughs> um. But Sli- yeah. Slide in the page and announce the fucking battle plans, dude. What's? Oh, okay. What? Where are we at? Time was. Fifty-seven. Ooh, a little quickie. A little quickie. We can, we can keep I like it. Take, no, no, no. Let's take a break. All then. right, take a little break. We'll, we'll decide. We're back, dude. Yo, we've discussed. We've convened. Yep. Both the yin and the yang have agreed. In fact, it is time to move over to the Patreon. Uh, before we do that, mm-hmm. before we make the big jump, uh, why don't you come see me, Chris O'Connor, and Brian Six, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at Comics at Mohegan Sun, up in the Cassini. Ooh. You want to see Beezer and particularly O'Connor. In his hometown. O'Connor in Connecticut. In his. In a Cassini. Oh, boy. You should just follow him. That's going to be one of the funnier weekends yeah. possible. Beezer and O'Contact and O'Connor just scurrying around a casino floor. That place is nice. It doesn't get better. Mohegan Sun's nice as fuck. Mohegan fun. Sun's very nice, dude. It's where Uncut Gems took place. Really? Sent his bay up. Yeah. It's where they're placing all the bets in the movie. Hmm. But watching O'Connor scurry around a uh, casino floor is about as exciting Our as it gets. Our Vice Lord O'Connor? I mean, absolute <laughs> Vice Lord, dude. <laughs> Uh, February 7th and 8th, I'll be at the Comedy Works at Saratoga Springs, New York. The f- February 14th, uh, I think it's the 14th or the 15th, I forget. February 14th, I think I'm at the Grand Girard Theater in Toronto. Valentine's Day. Come up. little Valentine's Bring Day treat. Bay, dude. You Canadian dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Vancouver got rescheduled to like this summer. 
Um, Ooh, Vancouver in the summertime. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that'd be nice. Talking Vancouver in the summertime? To, I was supposed to be going up to Vancouver in February, and that would have sucked dick. Yeah, man. So I'm glad it got rescheduled there. That'd be nice. Um, although, like, summertime Vancouver, bro? Whew. Does Vancouver get that much snow? I, I wonder if it's kind of like the Pacific Northwest, where it's like... Is it on that side of things? Do they get fucking hammered? I would imagine they get some snow. You would think. Yeah, I'd imagine they get some snow. Definitely some, but I don't think it's like here. I don't know. I could be be fucking stupid. I think Canada universally gets pretty heavy snow. For sure. I imagine that. But I think it's worse, obviously, in some parts. But like, I was just wondering if it had the same climate as like the Pacific Northwest, which is where it is. Is it the Pacific Northwest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Northwest? Yeah. You loud in? Are you loud in Canada? I am allowed in Canada. What's your problem? I'm just curious. I'm What's sure. that about? I know if you get like you know. I never called a DUI. They yeah, I think they like breathalyze you as soon as you go in. There. <laughs> I never called a DUI. The Mounties breathalyze you as soon as you go in. Yo, Miami, April seventeenth and eighteenth. I forgot about that. You're going to Mi- Miami. 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 Going to my mommy. The comedy in April seventeenth and eighteenth. That'll be fun. That'll be awesome, dude. And then like uh, beginning of April, Big J. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna open for Big J in Phoenix and San Diego. Take a little L.A. trip the first week of April. Come back, hit Miami up, hit South, dude. You know me. Just imagine me on South Beach, dude. Bro, that's gonna be tight. Gym shorts. Yo, you can rent a Vespa, dude. <laughs> you learn, no, I'm not bullshitting. No, you. good. So I can crash a Vespa. You can rent a Vespa. It's like forty bucks for like three days. Bro, it's, April. Dude, it's the funnest. When's thing your baby world. coming? March. March first. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna be March. Bro, nah, give me, give me like four months. Let the little sucker fucking. I wouldn't call it that. A little sucker. Come on. I was making fun of. I was. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about this. I, I got about stand up last night. I was making fun of dudes who like want sons real bad. It's pretty fun. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm not gonna talk about that. No. I'm I mean, I just. It up. Yeah. Whatever. I uh, save it for the page, dude. Oh yeah. yeah and then you April. Got a big announcement. Oh, April. Austin, Texas, Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Do you see them add me to the flyer? Yeah, you didn't see the flyer. No. Dead last on the flyer. Like just pretty your funny. name or your picture? Yeah, it goes like they put like the top build names up at the top and like it's like a festival poster. Mm-hmm. And then at the very end, like, the smallest off. font, they're like, oh yeah, <coughs> Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, please don't anyone criticize us for this. Please, <coughs> Shane Gillis is on this. That's so funny. Yeah. But, I'll I mean, be thank- thankfully, they're doing that for me. So that's good. Yeah, that's a tight move. That'll be cool. Yeah. I'll be at Top Golf. It's where exclusively for four. If you want to see me do stand up, Matt's, Matt's getting back into stand up and he's doing it the most unconventional way possible. He's only performing at Top Golf's in the Philadelphia region. <laughs> <laughs> it's in New Jersey. Nice. That's all that when I get my while I get my chops it's back. In New Jersey, dude. Just twenty interstate. F- true, tri state area. True. That's twenty five minute sets, dude. I'm gonna jump in. You do five of them. That's that's where I'm gonna get my chops five back. A, five a five, night? No, you do like three, then two. Sick, yeah, dude. So um, I'll be if you want to see me, it's I'll be at Top Golf January thirty first, February first. Wow, That's all if you gotta come. I I'm literally gonna be playing virtual golf February thirty first, January thirty first, January thirty first, February first. I'll be there two nights. Dang. New Jersey, I'll be there two nights. Yo, should I jump on that? Dude, I'm open that weekend. So now. fun, dude. You did Top Golf. That'd be so. I fun. might do Top Golf, dude. It would sell. It fucking it would go nuts. Dude, that would be so fun. That would be fun. We could go there like two hours earlier, play Top Golf, and then afterwards just play more All right, Top Well, golf. Matt's definitely going to be there. Maybe I'll be there. That'll be Ooh, fun. Ooh, dude. That'll be a fun one. Anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, yeah. Yeah, man. We're switching over to the page. Come to the motherfucking page.